in today's video, man, I want to, you know, warn the daughters of Zion, warn women out there and tell you why you need to be cautious uh, with cosmetics because there was an HIV outbreak um, and I'm gonna post the article in the description. Let's talk about it. Man, all praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there recently was an article by Epic Times and it was linking cosmetics to an, uh, you know, an HIV outbreak. And, uh, you know, I said, man, boy, you really, you really have to be mindful uh, and cautious as a woman because you don't know, um, you know, where this stuff is gonna affect you if you are partaking in vanity. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of women like to partake in it. And you can read in this article, man, they were, they pretty much did a, uh, a search of one of these places where women go get spa treatments done and different type of needling. Um, you need to be mindful of microblading. Um, but these women were contracting HIV uh, after getting Botox. And, you know, men, you have to be mindful. You go into the barbershop, make sure your barber pulls a razor out of the paper, a brand new razor. Or if he has a straight razor, an old school that has to be sharpened, that it's been in that sanitation fluid, that blue or green fluid. You know, but imagine, man, you're going to a spa day as a woman. You're like, man, I'm gonna go get a little filler, a little lip filler and all of this. And that stuff may make you look younger. You know, you might come out of there looking younger, but you've contracted something that, man, you can't wash off with a washcloth. There ain't no pills that's gonna cure that, man. Not no over-the-counter stuff. Not no stuff that they've came out with yet. And you're just, you're, you're dying away slowly all behind what vanity. So yeah, man, I can't stress it enough. You know, when you think about microblading, all of the stuff women go do that's vanity, you know, and them finding all of these, uh, unsterilized needles in these places, you got to look at, man, there's been plenty of women that have lost their life behind going to get these, uh, plastic surgery. Uh, you know, you not wanting to pay the actual price and you want this dream body or dream look for the low. And then you, uh, you see these women dying on the operating table, having all these crazy infections. I'm telling you, man, you might not be a woman walking in righteousness and you might be, you know, uh, in full support of all of this external adorning and vain beauty, but it, man, it, it, it's, it's like, all of this stuff is 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 affecting women these days and if you're not cautious and mindful and you're just going in there naive and blind man this stuff could happen to you so definitely be mindful definitely be cautious of it because i i, I could only imagine man you know protection comes at the price of obedience and if you're running out and, and, and doing all this stuff that's the latest trend and girl, you need to go get this done and I know a place that can do it and they did mine and it looks good and you go in there so excited about getting these procedures done, you don't pay attention and have situational awareness of, man, I didn't see no medical credentials. I didn't see, you know, they, they pulled this thing out of an old rag. You just, you're not watching it. And it's happened, like I said, over and over again with women wanting big booties and all of this and these women be injecting caulk into them that's used for uh, construction. So be cautious out there, man. Definitely be cautious. Now, you may not like the message and all of that, but be cautious. Be cautious, sisters. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight.